Today's technique is a leg scissor ankle lock. This is something I came up with to deal with a guy that was really athletic. I was a purple belt at the time, and I had a hard time passing his guard when I would. Usually he'd get his guard back. He's also a guard belt. A uh, college athlete trained all the time, really good. Uh, so the one thing that did work on him was his leg scissor ankle lock that I'm gonna show. It's based after a um, two-legged knee bar. So one thing I was doing back then was training, like I have rear mount, I catch both legs and knee bar the guy. So it's kind of the same concept, but instead of facing the legs straight on, I'm kind of to the side of the legs. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so the guy has guard. I need to lift his legs up. So there's space under his legs. All I'm gonna do is slide my bottom leg underneath, my top leg over and scissor my legs. I wanna be above his knees. I squeeze my knees together and cross my ankles. Make sure that when I do it, my outside leg's on top, so I'm facing his feet. That way I can attack his legs here. I usually go for the far leg first. So I grab his far leg, I pull it across, and I take my arm, swim it under, and I go for the ankle lock here. Uh, from this position, with his legs crossed, uh, see I have a hard time finishing the ankle lock. It's easy to go from here um, to this position here, the clover leaf, where I have his legs crossed, and I just finish there. Okay, so I can finish with the Texas clover leaf. The other thing I can do is, instead of attacking his far leg, I can attack his close leg. If he's laying flat on his back, it's hard to get his close leg, so usually I attack his close leg when he turns away, so turn away a little bit, and that opens his close leg up. And from here, same thing, come in, and then lock. Okay, so that's the basic idea of what I do. I use this attack also if a guy has a spider guard in me, so go ahead. So some guys with a spider guard here, I have a hard time getting my arm out. So just to break this, I grab his bottom leg, lift it up, big thing from here, I just break his grip, and I tack for the ankle lock. And I use it for the leg lasso. So leg lassos are a pain in the butt to get out of. The guy's really good, it's really hard to get your arm out. Instead of having to do like normal escapes, an easy way is the leg scissor ankle lock. All you gotta do is grab the bottom of his pant leg here, on his bottom leg, lift it up, step over, break his grip, and I can tackle the ankle lock. I'll try this angle here. So one more time here. So no matter what, wherever position he has, his bottom leg, I just need to pick it up to make space for my Leg tucked under, cross my feet over, break his grip, and I finish with the ankle lock. And that is the leg scissor ankle lock.